What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. This is my first ever morning waking up in my new apartment. It's been six years since I've woken up in a new house. So I'm very, very, very excited. Feeling full of energy, just grateful and blessed today. I cannot wait to get all this stuff unpacked. I'm gonna try and do it all in one day. A lot of people doubt me, but I'm gonna try my best and see how it goes. It's gonna be good. where to start. I'm just gonna pick a box and we'll go from there. This one's closest to me. Let's do it. This has some stuff for my desk. My first ever GoPro, the GoPro Hero 4. I just can't get myself to throw this away. It's such like an important step in my video making journey and I have to hold on to it. All right, that's first box done. All right, I figured let's do some kitchen stuff. This is gonna be a lot to do in here and might as well get started. Now I have the lovely job of deciding where everything goes in the new house. Where should I put the spices? Where should I put the canned tuna? Where should I put all these random things? All right, so obviously these are gonna be for cups and bowls and stuff. Spices, should we have a spice drawer? Should we have a spice closet? That's one thing I really, really like about this house is that there's so much storage space, which is a godsend after how compact we were in the previous house. I think I'm gonna choose here. This seems like a good spot to me. I don't know. Ugh, let's do it, it's decided. Actually, I've changed my mind. Because we're not gonna be able to see the spices at the back. So instead, I'm gonna put them down here. Yeah, this way, we can actually see the spices. And we can decide what we want. And we're gonna put them on the bottom row. I think that makes more sense. Well, these big ones anyway. I just realized I wasn't recording this whole time. making some good progress in the kitchen. I don't think everything is in its final resting place. I'm obviously gonna make changes as we go along and I figure out where I want things to go, but um, I've unpacked quite a few things, but I'm getting a little bit bored of, of the kitchen. So let's move on to something else. I think the best way to tackle this massive pile of boxes here is to get rid of everything that belongs to Noor and put it in her room. So Noor abandoned me, believe it or not, during this move. She's gone on a three week Asia trip to Singapore, Vietnam, and then she's going to Cambodia, I think. So she's abandoned me. Um, so I've got to do all this by myself. So I think I'm gonna take all these boxes and move them into Noor's room over here, which is the master bedroom, the ensuite that we have, and just kind of store them in here. That way I know what's left. I can clear out a big part of this room and then I can start doing things in my room and my desk as well. Let's do it. Oh, all right. <laughs> I think that's good enough for now. She definitely has more boxes, but 
the room's getting kind of full and I want her to be able to walk when she gets here. Uh, maybe I'll move them in there for now and move them back out later. Okay, time for me, time for my stuff. And I think I'm gonna start with my snowboard over here and then I'll do some clothes. <laughs> All right, big fun. Oof. Wow, can't believe I actually have space to roll this in this house instead of just carry it everywhere. Okay, slight problem I forgot about. I need to put all these things away before I have space to deal with the snowboard, so let's do that. All right, welcome to this segment of the vlog called Fill My Wardrobe With Me. So, I'm a pretty tall guy. Okay, and in my old house, the rack for the t-shirts was pretty high up. But like, look at this. This is this is really up there. I mean, there's no chance Alexia could ever reach <laughs> a t-shirt up here, for example. But anyways, I've got plenty of clothes, plenty of closet space. Thank you, Lord. Um, I'm just gonna start packing things away how I would normally have them uh, back in the old house. I think I'm gonna keep a relatively similar sort of process of packing things. I had it down very well before where I had like place for my formal pants, place for my not formal pants and shorts, had my nice formal jumpers, and then I had place for my hoodies, my t-shirts, my work clothes and shirts. I had it, I had it nicely organized, so I'm just gonna keep it the same. <sighs> my god. It is hot in here. Now these boxes might be the coolest innovation in packing I've seen. Got my scissors. Basically, they allow you to just take your clothes off the rack as they are and then stack them onto this rack here. Then I can literally lift them off of here and put them in the closet. I mean, what a genius idea. To demonstrate. All right, hoodies go on the far right, jackets haven't decided yet, so we'll put them there for now. Let's take out some of these t-shirts first. Some nice t-shirts. Look at that! How amazing. So a bit of separation, all right? We've got hoodies on the far right, crew necks and sweatshirts here, and then my like nice t-shirts that I wear going out, and then my not so nice t-shirts that I wear around the house, I wear to and from work, etc. So that's the kind of general division that we're gonna have here. And then obviously we can subdivide each category and organize it a little bit better. But for now, let's just get these out and onto the rungs. Perfect. Oh, whoops. This is a crew neck. Here. And then you just remove this little plastic piece and you store it with the box and that's it. All right, decided to bring a step ladder because honestly, even I was struggling. Okay, all the way up there. Okay, so let's organize this a bit more nicely. All right guys, got a lot of the closet unpacked and I think it's looking beautiful. So I wanted to show you briefly. We've got at the top, like I mentioned before, hoodies, crew necks and sweatshirts, then my nicer t-shirts, and then my not so nice t-shirts over there. Down here, we've got all my formal sort of pants and chinos, things like that. I've got a couple pairs of jeans here as well. Moving down, all of my different sweatpants, informal shorts that I wear around the house and just for quick walks, and then my nice shorts that I wear out of the house. Down here, Got a couple of my hats until I figure out what I want to put there. Um, some more sweatpants and linen pants there. And then finally, kind of winter uh, sweaters that I would wear over a shirt or just as a second layer to stay warm. And then a lot more things are gonna go in these closets, probably all my towels, bed sheets, duvet covers and things like that. Yeah, it's pretty much it for now. Finally time to move the snowboard, so <laughs> let's deal with that. All right, this is a bit of a difficult one but it definitely best belongs in under the bed storage which is where i'm going to put things i pretty much will uh, use very few times a year won't have to dig in there to get it out okay so let's put it in wheels first so you can roll it in right to the back to its resting place all right perfect Let's see, does it close nice and flush? Amazing. Done. Honestly, not sure where to go next. 
master's desk fragile. It's a good one. There's a lot of noise room boxes. Maybe let me move a few of those inside so we can clear up and see what we have left. I feel like every time I decide to do something, then I see a box and I get distracted. I have to do, decide what to do again. All right, let's stay focused. Noise room boxes. Should probably bring these plants out so I remember to order them at some point. Room. Oh, it's heavy. Again, noise room. Jesus. Oh, Ooh. that was heavy. <laughs> All right, this has the all important PS5 in it. So we have to unpack this. Oh, Jesus. This is more. Whoops. No, that's more. Okay. We're gonna make a Noor corner. She's just got too much stuff to fit in her room. Okay, I think we'll leave those for Noor. Tired, guys. Tired. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to get rid of a lot more boxes, to be honest. Looks like I've still got a lot to do, but hey, here we go. Look at how many extension cords I just found in that cupboard. <laughs> Let's go! This is like finding hidden treasure. Oh my god, I love extension cords. Okay, I will make great use of these. Very happy I found them. Very nice. Thank you, previous sense. Oh. Yes, pal, baby. Woo. All right, so Ugh, this box over here has a bunch of my files papers, important paperwork, etc. And I've decided that I'm gonna make this little shelf section over here, probably for my camera stuff and also my files and folders and things. So let's get this open and see what should go where. So yeah, handwritten notes from King's College London. It can go right there. And this stuff as well. Oh, MacBook folder. In here. Headphone stand, tendon hammer, which, <laughs> which I've managed to bend during the moving process. I'm not sure where that's going to go just yet. Here's my putting mat for golf. That's exciting. Camera case. Ooh, my big light, which I need to set up somewhere in my office. Put this here for now. This is a bunch of filming equipment that I use. Put it there. Massage gun. If anyone's been watching the channel for a while, you know where those buttons are from. Files and folders here. Okay. Don't quite know where to put some of these things, but they'll go here for now until I figure it out. bad for now. All right guys, check it out. I think we're doing really, really great. Making some significant progress. Boxes all here. Plants I still need to deal with. But yeah, I'm getting pretty damn hungry. Oh yeah, let me show you my shoes. Definitely need something to store all of those. But anyways, I'm getting really hungry, so I decided to order food. I've ordered some burgers from a place called Bleecker. If you guys are in London, and you haven't tried them, I would highly recommend. I haven't managed to find the TV remote, so I can't switch uh, to the Chromecast, but I managed to flick around uh, from this little button on the back. So I'm gonna sit down and grab something to eat, rest a little bit, and then continue with the packing. You guys remember in my old vlogs what this exact shot would look like? 
I would sit down like this and I'd be eating food. And it was just so much smaller. I'm like, now look at all this space here, here and here. That is absurd. Absolutely absurd. Anyways, let's kick back, relax and watch something. Alright guys, Ugh. we've got quite a decent amount of things going on in this box. Mostly random, but all kitchen related. So, I'm just going to have to take them out one by one and see where they belong one at a time. That's a lot of mugs. This is possibly the most important thing in the house. So let's go find a good spot for it. Where should we put ya? Must be near the entrance. Where? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, it's not great. No. Mm. Yep. I'm happy with that. <sighs> Guys, not gonna lie, I did not realize how much kitchen related stuff we have. I'm a bit overwhelmed of where to put all these things. I felt like I had a lot of space. Now I feel like I don't have a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. How are we gonna get rid of that? Well, that was not ideal. I never even turned the stove on and somehow managed to turn it on accidentally. Anyway, disaster avoided. Alright guys, exciting time. We've got a new room. Okay, I'm gonna be doing my bathroom. I've got all of these toiletries over here, and I'm gonna sort out into this cupboard, which is very neat, conveniently hidden behind the mirror. I'm just gonna stack them all in a nice, neat way. Hey, not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've picked up the camera. I have been deliriously just unpacking boxes. My little fan thing over there says it's 31 degrees in here. I am boiling. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm in a fever dream, but we're pretty much done. There's just like one box there, which is for my desk. One box here, which is for my desk. Those are all Norse boxes, which we're not doing anything with. That has some plant pots and things that I need to figure out. And then around here, most of those things are for my desk when I set up electronics. Those are all going in storage. And then that's some storagey stuff. So 
honestly, like we're almost there. I think maybe an hour and I can wrap this whole thing up and put most things where they belong, which is amazing to say. Kitchen is looking pretty good. I've got two fans running. This obviously needs some cleaning up and tidying everywhere, but things are, things are coming together. This is my favorite closet so far. And then the one thing I actually haven't touched at all and that I'm not going to touch in this video is my office. It's pretty much completely empty, minus this little drawing here. I put up the YouTube plaques and scrubs, a couple of uh, picture frames here from Canada, my university degree, but I, I haven't done anything. It's absolutely still completely empty. And the reason is I feel like that's, that needs to be its own video. That's gonna be a huge undertaking, massive, massive effort. Put all my study things here. And yeah, and then here, these all need to be thrown out. Those shoes in the organization. And my bedroom is pretty much as you last saw it. Let's see, I've filled up a lot of the closets completely now. Found a couple more boxes that had uh, Nasser's clothes written on them. So <laughs> there was still even more to come. And actually I'll show you now, I had to put most of my big clothes and suits outside. Oh God, that's so satisfying. Like an actual work closet. Love it. And then, yeah, like I said, my suits and things I've had to put over here. Big jackets and suits, because they just didn't fit in my thing. Put up these pictures everywhere. As you can see, I guess the advantage of Noor not being here is that I can put all of my artwork up on the wall and she can't say or do anything about it. I did give her this one though. I put this one up, which is hers. Where is it? That one. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna, yeah, tidy up a little bit, do a little bit more and then call it a day. I'm defeated. I'm delirious. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I have a couple of friends coming over. They want to play some kind of Rocket League tournament or something. And then we're going to watch Love Island together and have dinner together and just chill and relax after what's been really a very, very busy day. So yeah, I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. It's amazing that I can walk around with my camera and walk around whilst I end off the vlog. This is really nice for a change. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this series of videos. I think in the next one, I'll set up my desk in my room and that can be a video on its own so like this video subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see more thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace oh my god <laughs>